Just want to show you guys real quick how beautiful it is outside today. This morning, the sun rising and the starting to rise more in the northeast now. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous out here. But yeah, we're gonna be going down into the garage here. It is 7 a.m. Been trying to work on a YouTube video, running into that problem that you always have, which is editing takes time. You don't dedicate enough time to it, you won't get it done. We're gonna get this video done today no matter what. I have made this promise to at least do three a week, so I'm gonna do whatever it takes. See y'all inside. Today's a pull workout. We are going to be trying to get this not done like as fast as possible. We're gonna to try to get it done efficiently and fast as possible. So like we're not rushing through stuff, but we're gonna be taking rest, but we're not screwing around either. So sometimes you get stuck on like Instagram and playing around, we're not doing that today. We're going to be doing deadlifts, biceps, pull-ups, you know, the standard stuff. I weighed in this morning a little bit heavier than I have been, but it was because this last week I was kind of bad with my diet. Even though I was eating right, I was overeating a few days and I didn't realize it until literally I started working on the macro calculations for you guys in the next video. Yeah, the reason why I'm putting those 45 pound plates down is because I want to try to get as much of a level playing field as possible because I don't have a center segment to my pad here, my deadlift pad. So I'm trying to see if I can start working on my sumos being completely level as much as possible to start taking the ease of the pull and making it more challenging because essentially I've been, the, the bar and the plates have been a little higher for me than they would be for most people. So, so yeah, this is good. This is good. You want to do these kinds of things, guys. You want to think about this. Don't just build a platform and then not have a contingency plan for getting your body level with things. You know what time it is. Garage gym life time and cold coffee time. That's what I'm talking about right there. Guys, on a day like today when you're gonna be doing pull exercises, one of the very first things you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to wanna to start with pull-ups. I know, the reason why I say that and why I found that to be true for me is because a pull-up not only is gonna get your back, your lats engaged, but it's also gonna get your arms. And if you're doing the bicep curls, like hammer curls or any sort of curls, you're working your arms today too, which tends to be the case when you do a pulls, you're also doing curls. These will warm everything up. So I usually start with these, warming up with these, get them out of the way. Then I move on to like a T-bar row to continue to activate my back. So that way, when I finally get to the deadlift, then I'm good to go. I don't have to do, you know, lots of warm-up sets. I only can, I just have to go right into the working set. So the very first, I'm gonna turn Hotel California down a little bit. The very first exercise I'm gonna be starting with is, the, is going to be the T-bar row. Now you'll notice that today, I was telling you guys earlier, I put these in to try to get my body, my feet, so they're more level with this guy. The only other thing I gotta do is buy some more 25 pound plates when I get another set of plates. I am going to be doing more enhancements to this garage gym, and I know you guys are like, holy crap, how the hell are you gonna do that? But there's some things you'll see. It's gonna be awesome, actually, when I finally get it and then make the video. So I'm gonna do rapid fire this, then I'm gonna do cable rows, then I'm going to go straight from cable rows to a face pull, and then after I get done doing that, and that's actually because I missed that the other day, then after I get done doing that, I'm going to go to uh, hammer curls. So it's gonna be kind of like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> So now, you guys will notice here on a cable row, this is the way I, I always tend to do it. First of all, I have the Spud Ink lat pulley cable system. It works great. I mount it up here to my pull-up bar. This pull-up bar can hold at least 400 plus pounds. I use my Rogue Bench. I take this guy, put him as high as he can go, and then I just sit back here with my feet like this and get the cable pulley all the way over here. So it allows me to have something to leverage myself against so that way I can pull heavier weight. The only downside to this 
is when I'm in the process of working out, you know, and I have the weight pulled all the way to me, sometimes the weight plus my body, this end will lift up some and kind of shift left or right while I'm doing the exercise. That's the only downside to it, but other than that, this thing is legit. I do want to get a more permanent setup, so I do want to ultimately try to like lug this into something else if I could. I mean, this works for now, but if I could get it, get this so that it's a little higher off the ground, then I could probably even with the right attachments do like tricep push downs and stuff and if I had the right attachment I could also do lat pulls with this guy I can do it from the floor you know I'm going way off base with this exercise I tend to do about six to eight reps it just depends on how I'm feeling grab the 40s right now I'm currently doing 40 pounds you can do more weight with hammer curls than a regular curl so I get like this and I go for eight reps you'll notice that I'm standing like this like standing tall Kind of got my shoulders back a little bit, my scapula retracts a little bit, and then I just go like this. People tend to think that I'm doing a lot of swinging in the video, but I think a lot of that has to do with editing, because at the end of the day, uh, yeah, you can incorporate a little bit of swinging into this exercise, but you really shouldn't. I tend to just try to pump out the exercise. As you can see, seven reps, nothing too crazy. I could have probably didn't done one or two more, but that was my very first set. And no, I'm not swinging a lot. I'm not like, you know. I mean, I have a little bit of swing, but nothing too major that would cause major problems. <laughs> So as you guys can see with face pulls, I mean five reps, I mean I couldn't do another rep. I could try, but my form would have just gotten really bad. So uh, I was supposed to do that the other day when I did shoulders, but I didn't have time. So I'm gonna try to get it in today. Due to time issues, I'm gonna have to do only one more set of deadlifts, not three today. It just is what it is. Things happen, life happens. So we're gonna do this and then get out of here. All right, Icon Meals, coconut lime, mahi mahi. So I placed my order for my Icon Meals and I haven't gotten them yet, it's Tuesday. You can see the mahi mahi and then the rice. There's some sort of sauce on it that's frozen right now. And then a side veggie here. Looks like a little cabbage and maybe a dill pickle or something. We'll see. So what it looks like cooked, guys. It looks delicious. I'm diving in right now while I edit a YouTube video. Good morning, guys. Getting ready. Gonna be getting my stuff together here, the bags, and uh, getting my daughter ready. Gonna take her to school. And then we're gonna go do cardio. And working on coffee, um, getting things packed. I gotta take care of all this. Ugh, I hate dishes. But I wanna show you guys this, uh, this view again outside um, this morning. Guys, we're heading out the door. Cece's watching TV a little bit before we go. Um, but we are going now. Putting stuff in the car. Gonna go do cardio. Every single day it's a process. It's a lot. All right guys, well, we're back to do cardio this morning. I haven't had that in a video lately. We're back at the Y. Call Chase. That's first step. Call Adam. It's dark, Cece. We gotta go inside. Daddy got his phone or the camera. Let's go. Dad. Opening the door. Opening the door. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's missing. There's no icon meals. Where did mommy go? 
Where did mommy go? Mommy went upstairs. Icon Meals arrived. Mommy already put it all away. Well, there you have it, everyone. My Icon Meals arrived. <laughs> we'll go through what I got. I don't know yet. Legit. Handwritten notes. Thank you, Icon Meals. Thank you. So I wanted to take a moment to apologize for this week. I didn't have the opportunity to upload all the videos I wanted to upload because I got sick with this, like, this cold and stuff. And I'm not the kind of person that likes to make excuses for things. I try to stick to my word and keep it. The three videos will continue to come out every week. This week I was sick, so I, I have the content. I just haven't edited them yet. So you're going to probably see four videos come out this coming week. And I'm putting out a video today. So I hope you enjoy. What I wanted to show you guys is the formula that I use for putting in your body fat and calculating what your macro should look like. So let's check it out. All right guys, I finally want to take uh, and show you how this works. So I have, so the, the formula that I use to calculate my macros is the catch McArdle formula. Um, I found it from a guy by the name of Mike Matthews on his website, Muscle for Life. Um, I really firmly believe in Mike. He, he's a legit dude and he works really hard on his website uh, and his supplement company, Legion. Um, but, I want to show you guys what my, uh, essentially what my information came out to when I plugged it in. And I want to show you kind of his website and the formula. And then I want to show you what I built on my own so you guys can kind of see. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this, alright? Uh, so what you guys see here is his website over here, uh, Muscle for Life. He has a, a blog post, say, a simple and accurate TDE calculator and how to use it. Um, he goes through every bit of information, what it means, etc. I plugged my information in and this is the information that I come back with. So if you guys look over here, I did the same thing with my own spreadsheet, okay? Um, I put for Monica and I, but I, we're just focusing on me for now. Um, but I put my information, you see here I did it January 29th and then I just did it yesterday. Um, so I put in what my weight was, my last weight that, you know, my last low weigh in or whatever, or my weight, and then I put in my uh, body fat percentage, and then I say, you know, my activity multiplier, and what it's times, you'll see over here it's the same concept, 1.45. Uh, you can change this to different things. I change mine over here too, and then you'll see that it tells you what your body fat is, uh, what your lean body mass is, and you'll notice here since January my lean body mass has gone back up a little bit, um, and then uh, you'll see what your BMR and your uh, TDE is. So, and it'll tell you based on what I have below. So I have like daily calories, protein, fat, carbs, um, and then the percentages broken out so I know the ratio, but um, it'll tell you what, whether I'm cutting or bulking what the percent is. So it'll either be a negative or a, or a, uh, a positive. Um, so yeah, so my TD is 2,500 a day basically, um, and to be 20% uh, below um, TDE, I need to be, you know, running about 2,000 calories a day, and my BMR is about the lowest number that I can go to in cutting. So I can work my calories from 2,500 down to 2,000, down to almost 1,725, getting much below this is where you start to get into trouble. So um, we'll take a look at this at more, more in depth. My daughter's waking up, but I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, we're gonna go through and actually, I'm actually gonna go through and plug all this into my fitness pal and um, show you guys how I break it out, how I figure out what I take in each meal and all that stuff in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I wanted to show you guys this piece of it, it's the Catch McArdle formula. Go to Mike Matthews' website, do a, a search on his website for um, how to calculate your TDE, and uh, you'll find the formula. Or if you guys want, you can just message me in the comment section down below, and I will actually make a blank copy of the spreadsheet, and I will save it on my Google Drive and uh, share it with you guys so you guys can take it and make a copy of it and then use it for yourself. Yeah, in the next video, we'll go through, I'll show you kind of how I modify the calories here and then how we do the MyFitnessPal, all right? Take care, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.
Hey guys, thanks a lot for taking a couple minutes of your day to watch my video. It means so much to me. And I hope that I've provided something of value to you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below, share on your social media, and never forget guys, embrace the journey. Peace.